Welcome back to Gaming with the Hackets. So, a couple of people have asked how I've downloaded The Last Nuclear Darkness. So if you come on SteamDB and uh, you just log in with your account, you go to search, search for Nucleares, or Nucleares, maybe I should just call it that now, Nucleares, and then you come down and you go to Depots, which we're already on, and then you click the ID, and that brings up the depot for that. You come down to Manifests, and then you see all these different manifest IDs, starting with the most recent, and then going all the way back to the very first version. And then up until August 26 of 2021, all of those are the old alpha version of the game. So basically all you need to do is copy this ID. You can don't do this one. That one's the most recent one. And if you do that, you'll just reinstall the game that you currently have installed. This will, however, um, download to a different location. So I'll show you that. Uh, well, this is going to take a while because my I'm in a hotel and this internet is terrible. But basically what you're going to do is... Uh, I'll just pull up the quick command. So you go download depot, and then you type in the app ID, which is 1428420, and then the depot ID, which is one number above, you know, the app ID. And then you type in, oh, wrong one. Then you type in this manifest, copy, paste, you know, which, as you can see, this is the last one I've downloaded, so. Seven, six, three, seven, three, six, six, seven, six, three, eight, four, zero, eight, eight, seven, four, three, four. And then all you have to do is hit enter on the console. And that will automatically start the 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 download. So for reference, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, let's see if I can find one that said where it actually downloaded, because it's where it downloads to for the actual up-to-date game okay so right here is when I did the last one so no that's not right hmm all these connection failures oh here we go okay so it'll tell you exactly where it was downloaded so depot download complete and it says program files for x86, which should be the same maybe for you guys, I think. Either way, go to program files and find Steam. If you don't find Steam in one of your program files, then look in the other. Because I know I have two sets. Steam, Steam apps, content. And then you should have this folder for your app. So you could download other versions of the uh, different apps. And it tells you exactly which manifest you downloaded. So this one I tried, which was um, I think that was the October one. Was there was a gap? Yep. So October twenty eighth, and that's when it turned back into kind of like nuclear is today, but it's in the same plant as this. So it's kind of janky, but there was no zombies, no monsters, and that's not what we were trying to do. So 
this is the latest version, the 763. All of them have different starting numbers, I'm pretty sure. So if you find one with 763 and even 763.736, that's the one you're looking for. Or just, you know, August of uh, 2021. And it's the 26th. So... Then you just come to your C drive, navigate to your program files, look for Steam, uh, Steam apps, content. There's the app with the folder, and then the depot. And then you can literally just launch it right from here. And then it should load. Uh, don't get too hasty just let it download once it says download complete and gives you the file location then you know that you've uh, done it correctly and then there we go now we're in the last nuclear darkness you can literally just start a new game if you remember the night when the demons came to this world and there we go we're playing the game I didn't obviously re-download it but I haven't touched this since, so this is the same, the same download from when I made the last video, the part four video. So if you guys want to play this game, uh, yeah, you can do that. It won't affect your current download as long as it's in like a different folder. Like I said, mine's in, uh, yeah, on my D drive right here and uh yeah i guess i can delete this because i already made a download or this thing on my desktop mm. yeah that's about it you can always go in here and uh just mess around I think there's like sound bites in here and stuff that you can play. Uh, yeah. So these are all little sound clips of every little thing that you can do has like a little sound clip. And they used to have. Like zombie. I'll just go to the other folder. I don't have it. Oh. Probably could have just went back. Huh? Let's see. Yep. Okay. Coming to assets. Uh, I think it was resources in here too. It has like the storyline and stuff. I am, the right, I am in the right one. Hmm. Definitely saw zombie stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's in, uh, you know, Portuguese or something. I thought I saw a zombie. Yeah, there we go. That's a zombie getting beat. More zombies getting beat. But yeah, you can look around in here and find all these creepy sounds if you know you want to send a chill down your spine <laughs> but that's gonna be it for this video so hopefully this helps you get the game and then know how to download it and then know where it's gonna you know download to and then you can play this version just like me and 
you know, maybe you can uh, figure something out that I didn't do. Because I kind of just stopped when it said game over. And I don't know if there's, if you can keep going, maybe, maybe even crazier stuff happens. But, you know, I tried to shock AO and wasted my weapon, so. <laughs> That's about it. And, uh, hopefully this helps you guys, and I'll check you guys later. Oh, and a quick note. Yeah, you can do this for any, any game on SteamDB, so. I don't even know. What, what's a game that people play? Mm, that's not online. You could probably do, like. I don't know, let's just see what they have for Subnautica. Depots. Uh, it's probably Windows, I guess. Manifest, so they only have three. So you can play Subnautica 10 years ago, 9 years ago, and, and 6 years ago. Maybe that's a bad example. Hmm... I don't even know. I think most of the games I have are online versions. So. Either way, like I said. You can do this with any game and play older versions. So you can see how they evolved and how they changed things. Maybe there's a previous version that you like better. But... They updated it, and now you can't play that game. Well, you can. You just have to re-download the manifest and go from there. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll check you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.